All right, y'all. This music here is radio. Yo, head music. And uh, we got a. We we ain't got a special guest in the building today. We got a guest. <laughs> you Fuck out. So uh, I'm gonna let him introduce himself to y'all and shit, and tell y'all a little bit about what he got going on. Talk to him. My shit all short. Hello. <laughs> you know. You might have seen me before if you didn't. Fuck you, because I'm always on his <laughs> shit. I go by home team Vito. You know what I mean? Artist, for the most part. And a philanthropist. <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> say that shit. <laughs> I didn't even say that shit right. <laughs> At all. Philanthropist. <laughs> there you go. That's it? Yeah. Fuck out For the most that. part. <laughs> you, you, you can take that, that R out of there. Philanthropist, boom, nigga, and we in there. Nah, but for real, yeah, I'm a, I'm an artist, do music. Just recently started my clothing line, Five Forever. You shitting on my shit? Yeah, that's me. That ain't none of them other guys. That's me. Vibes. Vibe forever. Vibe forever. You know, a vibe lasts forever. Okay. You know okay. What I'm talking about? That's where that shit came from. Okay. Feel me? You feel me? So, where did the concept for that name come from? Uh, you know me, like, if you listen to any of my music, bro, it's just like, you always hear me saying people fucking with the vibes. The vibes is whatever you, a person get from you when you around them, you feel me? Some of that shit be bad, like, you could be around a lot of shit and be like, ah, I ain't feeling this shit, like, we get the fuck <laughs> right, away from, right. from where I'm at, you feel me? But when the vibes is right, people chill, people like it, they respect it. Real That's shit. where that shit came from. Yeah. All right, man, well, shit, um, I want to get off into... You know, talking about some of your music and all that shit. We're going to touch on a lot of sure. shit, man. Let's do it. But, you know what I'm saying, uh, we're going to get off into all of that shit. What you think about this shit that's going on downtown right now? You know, right now. Necessary. Yeah. You think it's necessary? Yes. You know they not. But, but I feel like, all right, the only thing I ever saw wrong with it is, like, you fucking communities up with your, with your motherfucking... Yo, essential shit is. I felt like if they was going to fuck some shit up, they go in the neighborhoods that we beefing against or some shit going on against and fuck they shit up. So they got to come back to where all the shit at to spend their money. You feel me? Put some money back in your, your area that, that the shit happened in. But you fucking it up. That shit, you ain't making no money. Plus, you making it worse and you still got a litter. What you going to do after that? Mm. You gonna have to go to they shit all the way out there and spend they money and put that money in they shit. That's why they keeping they shit up and our shit down. Right. That's what the only you thing think I about saw. the whole. What you think about the whole situation about um, both cases actually? Right now, I think it's three cases going on. It's the case with the girl that got oh, yeah. killed in her house. Mm -hmm. It's the case with um, the guy that got killed by the the two white guys and the third guys now arrested with him mm -hmm. supposed to be like involved too yeah. um and then it's the situation with um the latest situation with the uh the george floyd well, well all this shit this shit was just a matter of time for for motherfuckers no i'm saying like as far as you know the police officer uh wanted the police off the police officer that had his knee on his neck oh yeah is actually charged but they charged him with third degree third degree and he's the only officer that arrested got, at this yeah, point. Yeah, I got arrested. Yeah, I, I feel like that was just like a, like, try to shut them up type of move. Because they right. ain't really punishing him. Like, that ain't no yeah. fucking punishment. Third. Let of us do some shit like that. We convicted. What are the guidelines? What are the guidelines for third degree? I never even heard of that shit before. I, I actually had never heard of it until today. I've never heard <laughs> no, of nobody being charged with yeah. third degree murder. Yeah. I heard of first degree and second degree. Yeah. I and think I'm, I got a firm understanding. I thought after first and second came manslaughter. Shit, sure, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I never heard of third degree murder. That's I right. heard of third degree burns and. That's some shit they probably always had, but pull out when necessary and when somebody like them get in trouble type shit. Right, right. Because all, all we hear is fucking degree. Black people or just us that get convicted of shit like that, hear degree, they just automatically think that shit bad. Right. The degree, this nigga got third degree. Right. You like, nigga, that's all he get? That right. That's what a degree murder is? Like, a possibly, well, a possible 25? I don't 15? even think so. I think, I think 10. See, yeah. I think ten might be the might be the max on that. Yeah. Did you watch the video of um the officer when he had his knee on him when yeah, he was uh, yeah. doing the incident or whatever? Yeah, that shit was hard. Um, yeah, 
analyze that situation for me from what you remember and tell me what do you, what you think about the officer. Shit, it just it just seemed like he, he was comfortable doing that shit. Like when you look at the video, like he ain't like his facial expression, his whole emotion was like, nigga, this what I supposed Fuck to do. You. Yeah, like yeah. Nigga, what you gonna do about it? We do this shit all the time. To this me, ain't gonna be no to different. me it looked like and I'm not even not I'm not even bullshitting, bro. When I watched that video, I had to watch it a few times just mm. to make sure I wasn't tripping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To me, I swear it seemed like you could see him Digging focusing yeah. on killing. Yeah. Like, if you pay attention to the video, the whole time the pedestrians, the people that are standing by arguing with the other cop that's holding everybody at he bay, was out. dog was quiet so I said, the whole bro. time I said, until bro. the very end when they start saying he not moving, uh-huh. he pulled his taser out. That's the only time I actually seen him say anything or react. He sat there quiet the whole time. And you you cannot be on somebody's neck like that, bro. Nah. And and not feel the life leave out of he's struggling the whole time. And then yeah. all of a sudden he just stopped. Yeah. And you so focused on what's going on around yeah. you that you don't feel he that under you. That nigga, on, he man. turned into a straight killer, bro. Yeah. Just looking at his face. Yeah. And he, what he knew he was doing, it was like he was getting like a fucking... Enjoyment out yeah, of that shit. Like yeah, a, like he was having an orgasm. Bro, man. yeah. Like, and then it just seemed like he did this shit before. It just seemed like the, he was used to it. It was like, too calm. Yeah, like this nigga, this is what I do. And, right? and you know, and you know, no, and, and I, haven't even, I haven't heard anybody talk about this, but... After the ambulance picked him up, it was it was pretty obvious to everybody that he was gone. Yeah. But after the ambulance got there, first of all, he didn't want to take his knee off. It, still, ah. he still wanted to sit right there. He was comfortable. You feel yeah. me? But once he did get up, and it was obvious that he was gone, mm-hmm. bro, you saw no remorse nah, in none of the cops. Get, right. It no, was no. like another day on the job. That's what I t- yeah. They was just walking around, still That's kicking it with each other like... Like this, this is what we do every day. Like, dude, that's why I said it just seemed like it was so. It wasn't so like normal. how you see in the movies where yeah. they try to make it seem like the cop be fucked up after yeah. they kill somebody. Nah. You know what I'm saying? None of that, bro. Right. No. He, he walked around like he basically handcuffed him and put him in the back of the truck. Like, that's how easy like that shit looked to the cops and the the dude who actually did the shit. Like exactly. Right. Now nah. if that would have been you, me. Or any regular person yeah. that would have stood by and watched somebody get killed like that yeah. by somebody else, we would have been charged with accessory yeah. immediately. You see what I'm saying? Like Those cops didn't try to get him off of him. They nothing. never said, they okay, watch. bro, that's enough, goddamn. Like, nothing. It was like, I got your back. I'm going to keep everybody else up off you while you kill, dog. Because you... They had to, if the people standing around can can realize that you killing them, you can't tell me that all these trained ass cops don't realize what the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's my thing. Like you know, that with probably, that situation. I don't know. Man, dog, really. dog probably could have had like some type of force over them. Cause shit, it probably was one of them. Like shit, what what could I possibly do with this nigga if I try to stop him? What that shit would make me look like? That's why I feel like they was trained and that shit normal. Like, for you to just sit there and watch that shit, it's either you in a state of shock that, like, I can't believe this shit happening, or it's just, like, this shit normal. Like, them the only two fucking ways well, I see, see it ain't, I, I can't, I can't buy the state of shock theory because yeah. if it would have been one of us killing one of them, your ass wouldn't have been in no damn state no, of shock. No, would have threw his ass up. You see what I'm saying? Him. Shot him, all yeah, type yeah, of shit. Yeah, you know what I'm easy. saying? So, why you, why you can't feel that same compassion that you feel for your fellow officer, yeah. right? For your fellow citizen. You a citizen at the end of the day. You pay taxes and buy a house yeah, and you only got all that a few shit. Hours just like in that suit. Exactly. After that, you you a regular fucking citizen, bro. You just off duty. You can't move how you move with your suit on. You can't do none of that shit. So you know what it's like. Exactly. <laughs> now that ain't no so, twenty four yeah, seven. That's, that's, that's a fucked up situation, man. I hate that. All of these cities is being burned down and this and that and this and that and this and that. I do. I, I really hate that part of it. But I can't say this. But I can't say this. P. 
people have been threatening to do shit like that. Yeah, that's for so many years, man. And you know, we just had a point. Eventually, which, it's like fuck it, man. Shit, you and know. Then you got to realize the generation that's coming up, like the niggas under us, don't give a fuck. Like, right. We had conscience behind how we grew up. We yeah. knew bad. We yeah. knew good. Yeah. Niggas grow up on fuck that, nigga. If I can't get it, I'm gonna go get it or fuck that. I take that shit. It ain't mine. What you gonna do about it? That's how niggas grow up now. We had both sides like shit. Yeah. I do this. Niggas think about time. Yeah. Now niggas don't care about that shit no more. And then they like, it's a whole bunch of us. The chance of me getting caught. So yeah. that add on to they they motherfucking mindset. How you how you gonna fucking arrest seventy people out there fucking some shit up? That's why uh, the mayor in Minnesota he evacuated. When you have you ever seen a precinct? Everybody in that motherfucker get evacuated. evacuated. Bro, they set the precinct on Nobody fire. Nobody was there. They got them to the fuck up out of there because they know they can't do nothing with it. At they the set the that day, bitch on fire, bro. nigga. It's, 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 it's two police cars downtown Atlanta burning bro. right now, bro. bro. They tearing the CNN building up. Bro. Um, She just told me about some other buildings that they down there tearing up. They busting. Yeah, I didn't even know the this. Congress building. Yeah. They, they, they busting windows out of the Congress building. Yeah. They down there busting windows out of the CNN building. It's um two police cars down there on fire. Yeah. So that's out of control. And then look at this, right? All right, say so you know how this cop shit work. Like we got civilians, we got the man in blue and all this other shit. Everybody knows, like, all right, they always had it to where we like, all right, that's cops. We gotta, you know, we gotta chill, we gotta respect that shit. But at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck how many precincts you got. It's way too many people for all these fucking cops. Way too many people. And we always knew that shit, you feel me? But if you keep poking at a fucking bear, bro, like, why are we going to give a fuck about respecting it? We, we was taught that shit, but at any time, niggas can say fuck that shit. Yeah. Why that's, you think, like, true. all that Michael Max and all that shit, they was trained to, like, respect cops. But when enough was enough, it was fuck cops. We would fight back. We would shoot. All that shit. Like, we know you can't fucking control us. I don't give a fuck how many times. You can call the cops here right now. I guarantee they ain't going to have enough cops in this area for the amount of people that stay over here. That's true. You gonna have to get the fuck up out of there. So now it's at that point where Especially we know this. When you got a city of motherfuckers. Yeah, and then now we know. Yeah, it's over. It's over. I never in my bro. I'm 28 years old, bro. I just turned 29. My bad. That's, this shit was like a week ago. Mm -hmm. I never seen cops leave a precinct, evacuate this <laughs> shit, bro. I'm talking about not a soul in that bitch, bro. And they go go to the precinct. Everybody go to the precinct. Tear that bitch down and start turning shit on fire. When have we ever thought some shit like that could ever happen? Right. Ever, bro. I done seen yeah. cops get bang, like hit. You feel me? We hear stories about that shit. Niggas get up out of there. But we want you to know we doing this shit now. How that do, shit different. How, how do you feel about, like, as far as... Because I, I've been watching the videos of the protests. Mm-hmm. And one thing I do have to say is I, I enjoy the fact that I'm seeing a lot of white people out there. Yeah, hell yeah. A lot yeah. of white people saw, out there, I bro. So I, I think these that. white, they, 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 they fed up with that shit, too. Yeah. I saw you know cops talking about dog, too. Like, white cops talking about yeah, them. Like, yeah. shit. So what, what, what's your opinion on that? Like, how does that make you feel? You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it makes good. me feel good. I, that shit feel you know good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Seeing but at the support. same time. It's just like they capturing that shit now, cause it was it was probably like that back then. Like I done seen like pictures, video, white people like linked up with with the the motherfucking activists we had. You feel Real me? shit, yeah. But now it's just so like let's put the camera on their ass. Now at first like it was like no, nah, we can't show the support that they get back in the day. You feel me? It was rare to see pictures like that. But now nah, they putting that shit live live footage like shit. You see that ass she out there. Said, she said that she was watching one of the videos and she said the white people was in the front and a couple of them was holding signs yeah. that said, I'm on the front line for my black brother. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's something you never seen, bro. All right. Then I think another. history actually being made. Bro, listen. And then, like, all right, you know how they like you know how they do certain shit. Like, I seen videos today. Like, when, when the first building, you saw, when they saw, like, the cop, I guess it was supposed to be, like, an undercover cop, like, he broke into the first building to, like, start yeah, manipulating people yeah, and shit. Yeah, they, he busted, she was telling me about that, they yeah. busted the window, it was an actual cop that yeah. busted the windows out. Yeah, He bro. wanted the looting to start. And it to did. To it take did. credibility and away from the whole protest. Listen to, and then this is how crazy, this is how you know they watch us, like, I don't give a fuck if it's our culture, our music, or all this shit. 
Bro, they know so much of how we react as people because all they got is fucking cameras and views on us all day. They they probably paying people to just sit in front of a fucking computer and watch how we move and how we react to certain shit. So how would you just know to just, boom, I, I bust these motherfucking windows, all this shit going to start happening? Like, that shit is, they, you learned that shit, bro. Like, you literally, that's years of... Manipulating shit, they bro. They call what behavioral yes, ana- bro. analysis. Like yeah. that shit is crazy. Like FBI learns that shit. Yeah, they teach that and shit. it's real. That yeah. shit is real. Yeah. I used to be like, no, nah, fuck that. It ain't, it ain't that serious. They ain't can nobody. actually tell. Some, bro. Some, you got some that can read your facial expressions bro. and tell you if you're lying or being bro. honest or whatever. And that shit is real. Yeah. I used to think that shit was fake. Like man, I saw it on TV. Like nah, niggas ain't like that. But right. you seeing that shit play out now and how that shit right. moving? Right. Yeah. I know. Good. I know. When it comes to music, man, I know you do a lot of, a lot of um. Reality type of songs. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying about passionate situations and stuff like that. The shit normal nigga or normal people in general probably just can't talk to nobody next to them about. Yeah, because it's not flashy type of music. Nah, you know what nah, I'm saying? Nah. So, um, has it have any of these events? Spark that creative side of you that make you want to, you know what I'm saying, address some of these issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. That, that's how. That's how anything. Like with my music, it got to be an actual thing that happened, or an actual thing I experienced or seen with my own two eyes type shit. I ain't really, I ain't really good at the the fictional shit because it ain't it ain't gonna come out right. I ain't gonna feel right doing that shit. It's just right. I don't know how to do that shit. Okay. Like I got, I gotta know what's going on, or right. how I At felt in that moment. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So and then that that expression in my music come out easier. What you got? What you got that you're working on right now? Man, man, this pandemic shit, bro. That shit slowed down so much. But I really had a project that I wanted to put out on my motherfucking birthday this year, May twenty first. It was supposed to drop, but when all this shit started happening. Motherfuckers was locking up the studio. Niggas ain't want to get in there, and that shit slowed me up. So what I'm working on now was like a, a, a how I want to put it, like when I did before the support, it was like emotional shit, or I wouldn't even say emotional shit. It was like situational shit where times was bad. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And now like shit, I'm I'm cool. Like I. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I've been somewhere, and I'm learning myself in music. So this shit was just gonna be some more of a, uh, a, a enlightenment ass CD. Like, mm-hmm. okay, I can tell his his attitude and how he feeling at this more than time in his life is different than what it was when he first put his first project out. So right. this shit was just supposed to be fun, living, being excited, but appreciative about shit. Because before that shit, I, I've been in an accident. I damn near almost lost my life, you feel me? Right. When I first put that that first project out. So it's just like, shit, I'm here. How so. long ago that's been now? Man, like November 2019. Okay. November, okay. yeah. And all that music that's on Before the Support, that shit was like 2016. When you get it? 2016, 2017? When I got here, um, probably like the, the middle. End. It, was the end. it was December, the 20. 20- I got here December the twenty, the twentieth. Shit, it was the twentieth. Yeah, December was, the twentieth of two thousand seventeen. Boom, that's yeah. the majority so the very of the end of the year. Yeah, majority yeah. of that music was that shit. Like yeah. from that point on, all the like, way through two thousand eighteen. Depression, shit, losing shit. Yeah, motherfucking not knowing what the fuck I'm gonna do or how I'm gonna do it type shit. That's what right. all that music was. So this look, it's when I put that out this year, twenty twenty. So that's two two years prior of music that people probably think that's happening right now type of shit. Nah, it was some shit I was going through at the time, and I put that shit on wax. Right. So I couldn't talk to nobody. Niggas was fucking going through it. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. I remember. All, you know yeah, I remember because yeah, I used to be yeah. trying to get you to come Bruh, to the studio. I'm like, nigga, you I'm chilling. Like, you feel me? You that's really, depression at its finest. You wasn't really, really motivated for that shit. That, you know what I'm saying? That's it was like, man, I ain't. That's depression. I'm going through fine, some shit man. right now. You know what I'm saying? So nigga ain't even have a job and not moving around. You feel me? Like, right. nah, I'm straight. Nigga, what you doing? You ain't going to work. <laughs> I mean, that bitch chilling, like, laid back, looking at the ceiling. Might write some shit at that point in time. That's what I that remember. shit was. You know, I remember. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man. So right now, the pandemic got everything kind of slowed down. Um, mm-hmm. They finally trying to open Georgia up. Well. Damn, you know, Slowly. today was Slowly supposed to be that day. 
Yeah. Today was the second, the beginning of the second wave, and now we got the uh, the protest bullshit going on down there. So I ain't gonna call it bullshit. I was shocked that it even we got, got the protest going down there, going on down there, and you know, usually when the night hits, you know, what I'm saying that's when you usually know whether it's gonna get a little out of control or not. Mm-hmm. Cause as long as it's daytime, you know everybody usually just be chilling and be, you know, mm-hmm. behaving themselves. But for some reason, when that night hit, I think a, I don't know if a real different group of people hit the streets or, or you know well, what I'm they saying. They probably was hiding. What's out, going like, wait on? Wait till it get dark around. But the here, same thing just happened out. in um, Minnesota. Yeah. When it got night, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. That's when all of the stuff started getting, you know, vandalized and whatnot. Now they just at the point where they don't give a fuck there now. I don't know what's going on in Detroit right now, but I know they was down there protesting too. I don't know if they got out of control down there or not, but, Uh, you know, so. And I know she was saying something about what, Kentucky? Well, what city did she say? No, Indiana. Indiana. They they protesting in Indiana too, so. Yeah, man, it's. Hey, that, shit, that shit gonna hit all this, 50 this states. Is, this is a strange time right now, man. So you wanna know what's funny? You can't you can't deploy the national guard every motherfucking where. Is it even enough of them? You're about to say you gotta contain it. Shit, they like call the army out if they have to. Man, they ain't about to get them boys up out of there. If they do, shit, you gotta realize what you starting in the whole country. That's gonna make it in, easy for anybody to come fuck with us at that time. Cause you gotta remember everything on the phone. You think them people don't watch that shit? Right. Like who we going against or who, oh, who got, ain't our allies? They only got six soldiers you available for war. Like, <laughs> right, they right. fighting each other. It's the perfect right. time to strike Attack. that. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right, right, right. So, like, that's why I don't think motherfuckers look at the big picture. That's a, that's another thing with Donald Trump. He like a, here, he a right here, right now type of fucking president. He don't think shit in the future for real. You don't think he thinks stuff Hell through? no, he can't. You can just tell the shit you tweet. Like, right, right, right. Bro, you know how quick people <laughs> screenshot that shit? It ain't no delete. Once you put some shit out and you got a certain image, there's no deleting that shit, bro. And he don't give a fuck, bro. He can't. Or whoever working for him, if, if, even if it's, I ain't I ain't got control over my social media. Because I believe it, it could be some shit like that. It could be somebody puppet, puppeteering his shit. Like they, like, I don't I'm know, about man. to say this shit. I, think, about to say I think that's that. That's him, man. Bro, he don't give a. That's my point. He don't give a fuck. Man, he would have, cause he would have contested that shit yeah. by now if it was somebody else. He oh no, bro. Man, hell no. Nah. I that's him. know, bro. <laughs> that motherfucker crazy, bro. I don't know. <laughs> he probably read the shit after he do it. Right. He probably be like, oh hell yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, send like, that. Yeah, he that type of dude. That's <laughs> yeah, how I tweet, feel. tweet that yeah. shit. Fuck oh, let that. me see what you said. Let me see. Let me right, see that shit. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right, right. Matter of fact, take that out and put niggas. Like he'd probably do some shit like right. that, bro. He right. crazy. Right. Yeah. That motherfucker. Uh-huh. They probably had black men. No, take that out. Put right. Negroes just to fuck with them a little bit. Like, all right, this nigga. I don't know, bro. Trump different though. I think he's, he he got to put his president to, to, to do shit like this, bro. To let me ask you, let me ask you a question, man. As far as this situation goes with um with George Floyd, what do you what do you think is if, if what do you think is going to happen? What what do you think would be a, would be a power move for uh for the officials right now that would actually literally calm this shit down do you think they're going to be forced to press charges and rail or up the charges on him or do you think they're going to say fuck it you know what i'm saying i i honestly believe i honestly believe this shit too late for anything for them to do like i like it's too late to get this man life you can put him on a death fucking but it's the the whole thing is no justice no peace it ain't gonna stop I don't think it's about to stop no time soon, bro. You think you don't think you think you you think they're gonna be rioting every day? Is that what you said? No, I think the the riot is gonna be for like how people emotions, how shit is built. Like I feel like it ain't gonna be no more. I'm just gonna let this shit happen. Like somebody getting arrested and some shit. That was like the last that's straw. it. Like no, nah, they might fuck around and start beating cops up now. That was, that was the last straw. Yeah, you yeah, think so? You I really feel. think that? I feel like no, they don't give a fuck what they do to that man no more. I don't even give a fuck. I, I really just paying more attention to the shit we got going on. Like, the shit that's happening. I'm more so concerned about that. I ain't even thinking about what the fuck they doing to do no more. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people like that, too. Like, they passed that shit. We gave you a shot to do this shit right, and you ain't do it right. Now we fucking shit up, and we don't care no more. That's what I think this shit is now. Mm. 
Like you can like they can put a whole fucking headline like on Like y'all done tomorrow. had enough chances. Yeah, man. like y'all can put a whole after fucking all these headline fucking out. hundreds of years of this yeah. shit. It's to that point. Yeah. I feel like it's to that point. Nobody can fuck about the, 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 the threat yeah. that people been making for the last yeah. 40, 50 years. Took his toe. You think it's finally going to hit toe. the bricks? It hit his, like, it's over. Like that, that respect as a, a nation. Like, all right, these cops, we can't be doing shit like that. I feel like nobody give a fuck no more. It's them against us type shit. Wow. That's how I feel. And so I what? So what? So what happens now? Like, what? What? What do you think the next move is? Because, I mean, you can't. The official's not gonna just lay down like that. That's my point. Like, it's gonna so what be do you worse. Think, you think? You think? You think it's finna? We finna go to war? Over. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I think. I feel it's already heading that way. We looking at this shit daily. How did it? It was only Minnesota. What two days ago? Yeah. This shit has spread it across the whole country in less than fucking forty eight hours. Mm-hmm. You think it's about to stop? We ain't hit every state yet, but it's getting there. Yesterday it was fucking Minnesota. Today is what Kentucky, Indiana. Detroit. Tomorrow Detroit, fucking Wisconsin. Atlanta. Yeah, like this shit is man. What this shit is over, bro. It's over. It's just like shit. What you gonna do now? Right. Or what we going to do now? Like right. we, we trying to figure out how we about to add on to the shit that's going on right now. Right. It, we ain't, ain't nobody thinking about selling the shit. From the, from the officials down, down to citizens. We don't give a fuck about coming to terms right now. So now it's a pissing match. Yeah. It ain't, yeah, that's what I that's what I see happening. Mm-hmm. How I'm looking at it, that's exactly because what Because you know, happening you know, right come now. on now. That that that's a goddamn slap in the fucking face, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh 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 the other guys, they had to be forced mm-hmm. to even be arrested. Yeah. Period. They mm-hmm. had to be literally forced to mm-hmm. be arrested. And then they tried to go back and say, okay, well, he, he was going to this vacant house and the house that was under construction, he was going. Listen, so what? They got to put a narrative to So what, shit. though? You see what I'm saying? I wouldn't give a fuck if he did go in there and steal something. Who the fuck is y'all? That's how they keep having Y'all can't America just follow this man side. like that, block his path, and kill him because he stole something. Yeah. And like they said, other people went in their house. Why y'all didn't fuck with them? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But, but you know, that, that narrative going to come anyway. Like, we fucked up. Yeah, Let's I don't understand why they like to bring shit like that up, though, man, because I would, it wouldn't matter whether he was guilty of stealing or not. That's still no reason <laughs> to take it. his life. But you, you know, know what I'm saying? And, and, who... and that stopped y'all from pressing charges yeah. because it was clearly a murder regardless. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So that shouldn't have stopped y'all from pressing charges. What the fuck took so long to press charges? I don't like the way the they police. They weren't gonna do it. I don't like. I don't, I don't like the way the police system is set up. I don't like the fact that when the police do something, their buddies get to yeah. do the investigation. Yeah. That shit needs to change right there. That's one thing that definitely needs to change because that's why there's never no consequences. Mm. Because your partner. Yeah. Hey man. Um, Bro, they, they be we think you just stole something. You think yeah. I stole something? Yeah. yeah, we think you just stole something. Okay, yeah, I'm going to investigate myself real quick, and I'm going to get back with y'all. That's exactly how that shit. <laughs> of course I'm not going to find myself guilty. Mm. No, bro, I did the whole investigation. I couldn't find shit I did wrong. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you shit, know what I'm saying? That's because they investigating how to Man. get you out that shit, not the the how to criminalize you. They don't want to criminalize you, bro. That's they crazy, They investigate, man. like, how can we get you out this shit? Right. That's what they doing. What's yeah. the what's the, what, what's the one charge we can give you if yeah, we charge that's you? that's the whole investigation. That'll shut the public the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, that's the whole, investiga- whole investigation. You see what I'm saying? When and we they, get investigated, we trying to find something wrong with you. That would have been you, me, or anybody else yeah. as a citizen. We looking as at all soon as, that. As soon as the ambulance got there, yeah. you going to jail. Yeah. You can't leave the scene. You want to? You, somebody yeah, died, bro. Yeah. You don't just get the fuck up and get in the police car and pull off and go patrol the streets. And he was dead as the emergency. <laughs> it wasn't like we could bring his ass back to life when we get to the hospital. When they got there, he was stiff. He was dead. You yes. feel me? His so neck you know he's dead. In that position. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, man. He was already gone, bro. Oh. And then the people standing around yelling, bro, he not responding, bro. Get off of him. He not responding. And he still sat there like, get back. God damn it. Or yeah. I'm going to tase you. Yeah. He saw the emotions flying first day. Hold on. you. Yeah. 
And then the other cop stood there acting like he didn't know whether to. I got to protect him. Yeah. Fuck the nigga he's sitting on. <laughs> I got to protect him. Fuck the city. Fuck the motherfucker I swore to protect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got to protect this officer. That shit crazy. From a bunch of people that's non-threatening. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When he's killing somebody. So I'm going to protect him from the, 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 the people that's non-threatening. When he's actually killing someone right now, but I'm protecting mm. him. I'm obligated to protect him because of my job. Where's mm. the morals? Where's the moral compass? Um, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm just doing my job. You know, certain jobs I just couldn't do, man, because if I have to ignore my moral compass yeah. to get a paycheck, yeah. how can I not be a sellout? I'm going to ignore my heart yeah. so I can get paid. That's a sellout. You selling you selling your community out, bro. Uh, that's wow, training. man, it's just sad, bro. That's sad that training, bro. Sad, bro. Yeah. Yeah, and you know. Yeah. Part of the training. Yeah. When you see that's me fucked do this, up, turn man, another head. motherfucker can train you. Yeah. That's some sad shit right there by itself. You ain't trained me, motherfucker. I don't even like that term. That's what you do to animals at zoos and shit. You train them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You there ain't train me, bro. I'm going to have him train you. No, nah, he not finna train me, bro. He might show me with ropes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit, like, though, he training training me shit. and shit. That's some training day shit. Yeah. Trained. He trained. Oh, he's well trained. Like, when I come out here and choke somebody you back, said. you better not do shit. You better sit right here and let me Man. do that shit. Shit sad, bro. Real talk. But yeah, man, you know, we 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 already been on this motherfucker 30 minutes, man. You know what I'm saying? So tell them about the clothing line again, V. Vibe Forever is the name. Website, www.vibeforeverclothing.com. And you can follow us on Instagram at Vibe Forever Clothing on Instagram as well. All together. Okay. Show them the hat again. Boom. We Boom, vibe forever. And you got colors and stuff like that and all that. I got what you need. If you need okay. it, I got it. All right, well, yeah, it is, man. So I thank you for coming, man, and let me get this interview because I, you know, I kind of had to beg for this little interview and shit. You oh, know you what I'm saying? Yes, I, I, like I had to beg. Be- I had to beg for this interview, man. I had to beg. <laughs> I've been trying to get on interview. Music Heads yeah, Radio for like full four of shit. months. Full hey, of he's shit. so booked. This, this nigga, nigga like, bro, full of shit. bro, I, I get to you when I get. I, this when nigga I get sleep you. more than a lion. <laughs> we so I cool. Told this nigga this told me I get to you when I get to you. Fuck off. Yeah, since you want to oh, do that. Just fuck on off. That lie. Yeah, yeah, big ass lie. You better edit it out. Me admitting <laughs> oh, that on line. <laughs> but yeah, I don't. You know, I don't do edits. This shit goes. Oh, uh, you dirty. Straight, you don't don't dirty. Do edits, you know what I'm saying? Sorry. But yeah, yeah, I appreciate you for coming through though, oh, man. Yeah. Shit, so we gonna go and get up off of here, man. All right, y'all, we out. We out of here.